Hey guys, Cal here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be kind of late because the event is almost over. Only four days left. By the time you see this, probably only three days. But um, I thought I would make a video at least on the Barcher here. A very good troop, a very powerful troop for farming. Um, as the name is, it is the same as Barch. We're just going to be using one army camp here and maybe a little bit more. But Barchers are the combination of Barbarians and Archers. And this is a strategy you will use at the very early stages of your Town Hall experience. But also is very good towards the late game. However, because the Barcher goes invisible. Let's see if we can do this. Goes invisible for a short period of time. Um, this allows you to get a lot of damage in and save a lot of troops where you would otherwise need to use a lot with your traditional Barcher. Um, very similar to the Sneaky Goblins, allowing us to only use one per collector instead of multiple per collector. Now, we're going to do one raid here, and as you can see we're bringing Lightnings. And the reason for Lightning is to take out some percentage where the Barcher kind of leaves it behind. Now, we're low in trophies because of the event, and this is actually going to make it so that we find quite a bit of dead bases like this. And with the Barcher, we're just going to drop one uh, Barcher per building. Trying to avoid storages. Yes, the storages have, um, have loot in it, but they require a lot more Barcher per space than, let's say, a defense. And right now, we're just trying to snipe out the easy loot that is on the outside. And then we're going to use our zaps to zap out whatever might be left behind that is easy for us to take out um, that our barchers can't quite reach or all that is left are some high hit point buildings. So now here we are at that 44%, meaning that we need six buildings and we can take out four with the lightning. So that means we need to take out two more buildings. So we'll go for something low HP like this low level air defense. Hopefully it will be able to go down. Oh, and it looks like it's going to go down. And maybe this cannon's almost done. Nope, but we're going to just use one more cannon right here. And oh, well, let's see if this four will take it out. So one, two, three, and... Uh, we can use one archer to finish this out. So 50%, we did get a lot of loot on the outside and only used 47 archers, which I believe is about half of the army camp. See that we have 20, or we have 70 um, something left, allowing us to go again. And you know how I feel about doing multiple attacks with your one army. The more attacks you are allowed to hit, the more opportunities you are giving yourself to find more loot. And down here in gold, I'm actually quite enjoying gold right now. I did a lot of dropping for um, the event to get a lot of my minis, the, the skin. Um, and down here there are a lot of dead bases. We're Town Hall 13, so this is not going to yield us a lot of loot. Even though it looks dead, we're not going to get that much. But um, this is one of the reasons why I prefer Sneaky Goblins or other farming strategies is because the majority of time that's going to be taken when using this attack strategy is going to be actually nexting until you find a good base. Whereas with Sneaky Goblins and Electro Dragons and things that will only require you to look for a certain amount of loot on the base before attacking it, you'll be spending most of your time attacking then you will be nexting here. So already we've spent a lot of time nexting and we haven't gotten a lot of loot. And now we're put in a predicament like right here where there's a lot of loot on the base, but the collectors aren't super full. But because I'm impatient, <laughs> I'm going to be hitting this one. And because of the event, if you got enough points, which I hope you have, 
already, seeing that the event is coming to a close. And because the all the elixir storages are full or are sour, you should be able to get to the point of the game where you unlock the ability to cook your, or it's not an ability, but a boost to the speed at which you can cook your army, meaning that you should be able to get a lot of uh, attacks in, um, so being a little less picky is probably a little bit more beneficial uh, for specifically this case. So here we have uh, these podiums, which will all go down in one zap, which is very good for us. And now we have three buildings left, so let's find three low health buildings, which would probably be this archer tower cannon and uh, army camp, which we can just zap like this and see how much HP is left. So we'll be able to take out those. I'll drop one archer here and uh, we will drop one archer here and hopefully, oh, that was a lot more HP than I thought it would be, but it looks like we'll take it out anyways, hitting that 50% and dipping. Now, of course, you don't have to go for 50%. Um, I like going for 50% because we're down here in gold. We would like to push up a little bit more, and thus that is why we are doing this. Now here is another base with decent loot on the outside, but again, we're so low that we are going to be hitting some bases that like look a lot better than they are. This one will probably need... Uh, this one has a lot of loot, not much in the storages, but we're gonna snipe it out anyways, not so that the whole video we're gonna be uh, looking around for good bases, you know? Gonna keep on chugging here, getting a little bit of loot, but then um, continuing on with our day. This one I don't really want to get to the 50%, but it would defeat the purpose of uh, the start of the video. The nice thing is a lot of these buildings are low level, so their HP is very low, meaning that these zaps will take a lot, will like help us a lot more because we'll need a lot less per. So here we're probably going to get a good chunk like that, nice. Here we get a nice chunk like that. And again, we are now at the 50%. This one wasn't as big of a raid. I honestly thought it would be a bit more, but it is what it is. Uh, we only have 30 something... Uh, left, so I'm actually going to bring up Blimp so that we can potentially get a Town Hall if it is on the outside in case we find a good base that we can get a lot of the loot but not quite get that extra star we want. It's good to have it in the back. Just like this base, we could definitely Blimp it. And you know what? Why not? We'll just Blimp this here and then get a little bit closer to farming. So, boom, that one's going to go down. Not going to waste any troops here on specifically the the farming cuz I might as well save it for a more dead base just like this one. Nice. So, usually you should be waiting till you find bases just like this, but because I am doing a YouTube video, right? And I don't want everyone to be sitting here for 5, 10, 15, even 20 minutes just trying to find a dead base because that isn't fun for anyone but it is nice that we found at least one one so we can really show off the true strength of this attack we only have seven archers left so i think we're going to try and pick up as much percent with these lightnings as possible and then we might have to do a little bit of blimping Using your CC to your advantage, if I had a Flame Flinger, this would be really great, but I don't. I have a Blimp, and I'm going to drop it early, as the Town Hall is only 11, so we don't have a lot. Or, because of that, the Balloons won't actually go for them, because they are... Uh, the Town Hall is not a defense, and the Balloons really only go for defenses. It's a good change, but it is a little sad that we can't zap out these Dark Elixir storages. But, um, I think that is good to be left in the past, as, uh, not many people want to have their Dark Elixir zapped out. 
every single time and lose a ton of loot. So that is going to be it for today's video. Even with half an army, we got three attacks in. One, two, three, four. Five. Did we really get five attacks in? That's crazy. Five. I did a little bit of raiding beforehand. As you can see, only 20 minutes ago uh, we did it. But the video is only 10 minutes long, so I guess we got one, two, three, four, five attacks in, which is great. Um, almost as much as our sneaky goblin raids, which um, is pretty nice to see. But just like that, just utilize your zaps, utilize your barcher, especially at low um, trophies where you're going to be hitting a lot of dead bases. It'll help you farm up that little bit of extra loot that you might be missing out on. So. Hope this video was helpful, and I hope you can use these uh, barchers to great use while the event is still around. They did get a little overshadowed by the Lava Loon, of course, being the strongest. And uh, towards the end, I believe, the, the Witch Golem, not the Witch Golem, is it called the Witch Golem? Yeah, the Witch Golem definitely took the shine, as well as these hogs, I guess, did pretty good also. Um, but it's glad to see that every single troop here uh, is usable and the Barcher definitely is one of the best farming troops out there right now. So take advantage of it and I hope to see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.